Craig Ferguson, The Unvarnished Truth. Further on this Uber uh, situation, here we have a taxi mogul, Avenia Fridman, uh, in New York, who uh, wanted a bailout and didn't get one. He was too big to fail, he thought, and uh, they didn't give him a bailout. Uh, he, he, medallions are licenses uh, required to operate taxi cabs uh, in New York, and uh, he's, he's claiming that um, Citibank, who uh, holds the loans for his medallions, who is foreclosing on him because he's not paying his license fees, uh, is in conspiracy with um, with Uber. Uh, we are disappointed Mr. Friedman has chosen not to honor his contractual obligations, says Andrew Brand, a spokesman for Citibank. He called the claim about Uber a laughable conspiracy theory. Uh, it's not obvious what a New York City taxi medallion is worth today. The last reported sales of fleet medallions, which may be owned by non-drivers like Mr. Friedman, were in March at an average price of 925000 But only eight such medallions have been sold this year. Two of them pursuant to an agreement entered several years ago, according to the Taxi Limousine Commission. This match matches the sharp decline in transaction volume seen in other cities, including Boston and Chicago. So what uh, what they're saying here is that these medallions suddenly aren't so popular anymore because of the switch of drivers and passengers to the new Uber service. Um, as evidence, he pointed to a new release in which city announced its employees could use Uber for official business travel. So uh, is there a conspiracy theory here uh, that is for real? that Avenia Frankman um, is claiming. Only time will tell, and the Uber saga continues. Craig Ferguson, The Unvarnished Truth.